So chemistry patterns, guys, are used by a lot of traders to do what to confirm their entries. And you know, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a chemistry pattern that is very, very powerful. And when it actually forms, I already know that I'm definitely going to eat because it has proven to have a very, very, very high win rate, guys. Right. So without wasting any of your time, let us get on with it. Right. So now. Let us just say that this is just a what? This is just a basic resistance that we have right there, guys. Let us just say that this is just a what? That is just a basic resistance that we have right there. And now I'm going to somehow divide that resistance into what? Into three sections, right? You're going to find out soon why I'm doing that, right? So now, this kind of pattern is going to be, this kind of pattern is actually you know, uh, I'm going to divide this kind of stick pattern into three parts, right? So it is the same kind of stick pattern, but you know, I'm just going to divide it into three different kind of stick patterns, right? So I'm not sure if I'm making any sense, but you know, as we continue, you are going to understand what I'm talking about, right? So now, the first kind of stick pattern that I'm talking about, in fact, the kind of stick pattern, guys, that I'm talking about, it is this kind of stick pattern that is called, let us just say there, and look at thing can you speak pattern right so we are going to divide this kind of stick pattern into three parts starting with the uh, uh, um uh, 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 with um the end garden kind of stick pattern that has you know a very very low win rate till we end with the end garden kind of stick pattern that has a very 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 high win rate guys right so now let us just uh preferably just draw our Let's just preferably draw a pattern. Let's just say that K sharp price was making its way up there. Let's just say that price was making its way up here. Up here. Right? Let's just say that price was making its way here. Up there. That is the first constant pattern. In fact, let's just write one here. Let's write two here. Let's write three there. Guys, this is an engulfing constant pattern. All of these kinds of patterns are going to be engulfing kinds of patterns, right? But they are not going to be the same, right? So stick with me, guys, right? So now, the first kinds of pattern that is proven to have the least, least, the first engulfing kinds of pattern that is proven to have the least, least high win rate to me, as you know, I've been trading, is actually this kind of pattern. This engulfing kindly stick pattern. This engulfing kangly stick pattern. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but if you can just somehow closely look at what happened here, guys, you can clearly see that the body of this bearish kangly, right? The body of this bearish kangly, it did not do what? It did not do what? It did not close below that bullish kangly stick right today, right? The body of what? The body of that bullish kangly, it did not really close below that uh i mean the body of that bullish candle it did not close below what below that bullish candle right there and please note that you know later on we are just going to go um in, into our charts and then i'm going to somehow try and show you guys what i'm talking about so you know after you know after some couple of minutes we are then going to go over to our charts right so now the body of this bullish candle can you stick it never really closed below um uh, uh that bullish candle stick, right sharp so now the second kind of stick, the second engulfing kind of stick, right, is something that is like this. That is like this. Let us nicely draw. Remember that we are starting with the least accurate engulfing kind of stick pattern, right? The least accurate, what? The least accurate engulfing kind of stick pattern. Let us now grab our bearish. Can you stick right there? And then the, I'm sure that most of you guys might have guessed this one. Right? And there we go. So now, if you can somehow close to look here, you can clearly see that the body of this bearish candle, it did what? It closed where? Below what? Below that bullish candle right there. Right? The body of this bearish candle, it closed below that bullish candle right today so this kind of stick pattern to me it has proven to have a very very high win rate than their kind of stick pattern right so now why 
excuse me. So, why is it important for the body to actually close below uh, below the bullish plane, right? So now, this is just a measurement of the momentum of the sellers, right? This is just what this this is just a measurement of the momentum of the sellers, right? So the more um so if price is somehow going to close above that bullish can uh, if somehow the body is, is going to close above that bullish king then it will show you that okay shut as much as we had ourselves a bearish and gaffling king stick pattern but the momentum of the sellers is not that much right so now but now here guys you know this just tells us that this just tells you that okay shut the momentum of the sellers is actually a lot than what than of the what than of the uh of the past right so now the third candlestick pattern, guys, right? So my go-to candlestick pattern, my very, very high probability trade, uh, my very, very high, uh, high probability, um, candlestick pattern is this candlestick pattern, guys. Is this engulfing candlestick pattern? I'm sure that most of you guys can see that these are just different candlestick patterns, right? Sure. So let us then proceed. Let us say that price all along it was making its way to the upward. It was doing what? was making its way to the upward was making its way to the upward and now when price actually reaches our resistance right there it then gives us something that is probably like this let us just say that it then gives us something that is probably like this and then gives us preferably a this kind of stick let me just close there and then preferably gives us something that is like this. Gives us something that is like that. So now, on this third candlestick pattern, guys, right? So I hope you guys are seeing this third candlestick pattern, right? So now, if we can somehow closely look at this third candlestick pattern, right? So on this bullish candlestick here right on this bullish candlestick there right so it is very much important to understand what you are doing whenever you're taking a trade using a candlestick pattern or any other candlestick pattern right so i like to understand a certain candlestick pattern before i even enter right so now i i, I basically want to know why a candlestick pattern formed right so now in this case you can clearly see that we had two candlestick patterns. I'm not sure if you guys can uh, 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 can understand what I'm saying. We basically had two candlestick patterns in one candlestick pattern, right? So basically, here we had ourselves the what we had ourselves. Let me just create this. We had ourselves an indecision candlestick pattern, right? indecision candy stick pattern that is what we had there right so you can clearly see that you know price actually closed at the meeting right price actually closed at the meeting if i can just somehow show you guys what an indecision candy stick is with something that is like this whereby price is just somehow going to be close uh whereby price is just somehow going to close at the mic, right? So it can be a doji, or you know, sometimes the body can be just you know a bit small, right? But you know, it actually close at the mix, right? So as the name says for itself, that it is an indecision case, meaning now that okay, sharp the bars and the sellers they were actually fighting, but at the end of the day, we never really knew who won the betting, right? Same as maybe playing soccer, right? So, you know, we, we can say that, you know, if this was a football match, then, you know, uh, it was a draw, right? The score was 1-1 one, one, or the score was 0-0 zero, zero, or the score was 5-5. Five, five. But end, at the end of the day, it was a draw, right? So, now, why do you need this to be an indecision candy? You need this to be an indecision candy because the next candy stick that is going to form is going to somehow determine who won between the buyers and the sellers, right? Which is the next candlestick pattern? It is this bearish candlestick pattern which closed below what? Which closed below the body of that indecision candlestick. Remember that here, this was a draw, right? The first candlestick there, 
it actually tells us that you know this is just a pure draw right right so this can depend it is it, just telling us that no one won you know the bars and the sellers you know they they had they they sort of like had uh some sort of like equal momentum but now this bearish can be stick it having to close below the body of that bull uh, of the king stick right there this just tells you that now the sellers are proving themselves now that they have more momentum than the bars right so this is the sellers coming to us and telling us that okay sharp we did have a battle with the bars but we won the match right but we did what but we won the match right so this is just the sellers proving themselves that yo bro we are very very strong than the buyers right so this indecision candlestick it is there to help you to know that okay sharp a war is going on right a war is actually doing what is going on and once you basically get yourself a bearish candlestick bro that just tells you that yes a war was was actually going on but the sellers have momentum right so this bearish and gaffing candlestick pattern actually speaks louder than both of these candlestick patterns, right? So now I want you guys to get this straight. Now I do not use this candlestick pattern, this type of engulfing candlestick pattern, whereby the body never closed below that bullish candle, right? Though I do use what I do use, I do use this candlestick pattern sometimes when I have my reason, but you know. My high probability and gaffing kings the pattern. It is definitely what it is definitely the kings the pattern. Now let me let let's just you know quickly go through the charts and let me show you guys what I'm trying to explain to you. So if you can just somehow closely look, let us look at the candlestick pattern that I was referring to. There we go. We can clearly see here that you know here guys we did have some what there we go right we did have an indecision candlestick right there remember what i said an in indecision candlestick is right it is whereby the buyers and the sellers are in a fight and you know we never really got the results whether it was the buyers or the sellers that actually won but now with that being said this candlestick that engulfs that in uh, that engulfs that indecision candlestick it is the one that tells us that you know the sellers have already won that match right well, because we can clearly see that you know the body of what the body of this bearish candlestick it closed below what it closed below that indecision candlestick right there simple as it is guys let us then you know try and get in deep so that you know uh, I make sure that you guys understand what I'm actually unpacking here. There we go. Also, we can clearly see that on this lower high right there, on that lower high right there, we also had the same thing, you know, whereby price closed in the meeting. And then we had ourselves a what? A bearish candlestick right there. And this completes a what? This now completes our very, very high probability bearish and gaffing candlestick pattern right so that's it for this video guys i hope you did find value if you did do so much on that like button for me see you on the next one Cuckoo, bye